Yeah. Hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> These aren't Christmas gifts for Eva Whitmore. They're actually gift-filled shoeboxes that will be delivered to shelters for women who are transitioning from abusive relationships. Whitmore expected 50, but now has over 350 to donate to these women. Well, I think they often feel they're forgotten and that no one cares. And I think this, hopefully this will show them that there are lots of people out there that are thinking of them and hoping that they could have a better life in the future. It's all part of the national nonprofit initiative called the Shoebox Project. It started in 2011, but it wasn't until this year that it came to Winnipeg. Whitmore made this possible when she volunteered to be the coordinator. Eva is going nonstop. Um, she's she's like the energizer bunny. She just keeps on going, and uh, I'm I'm really impressed by by um, the amount of effort and work that she's put into it. This just reminds you how generous and and compassionate people can be. The handful of volunteers have no funding and no office space, but Whitmore doesn't mind playing Santa and filling her home with gifts. It's a very Christmassy feeling, and to be honest, with our kids grown and moved away, Christmas has become very low-key, and my husband and I are just enjoying this. These are our decorations this year. The team of volunteers believe these small gift packages will make a big difference to the women who receive them. A lot of women leave in the middle of the night or when, whenever they get a chance to, so I think that um, these items are appreciated. Each shoebox is filled with about $50 worth of items, ranging from little luxuries like chocolates to necessities like warm mitts. Once the shoeboxes are filled, the volunteers take the time to wrap each gift before sending them to shelters. We hope that it'll give them a little lift and show them that people care. The response has been so great that gifts will be given to shelters for women fleeing abusive relationships in Manitoba and Kenora. Donations will no longer be accepted, but they plan to return next year. Interning for Shaw TV, I'm Graham Coleman.